community pages are one of the most important things you need to have on your real estate website. These community pages can be either properties in different neighborhoods, different cities, different communities, different subdivisions, or whichever division you want to create um, to sort out your properties and make them easier to find for your leads. To make this easier on you, the broker, we created this app called Community Enhanced Builder. And it will help you create your own community page without writing any sort of code. And it would look something similar to this. I have an example that I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to go step by step on how we can build something similar to this. So this is um, one of the websites that we've helped build. And this is a community page for South Lake City. It has a little description about what you can find in this community page. And then the first thing you'll find is three properties. And this would be the most popular, most expensive, and least expensive property on a saved link, which I'm going to explain a bit later. Um, but in this community, it would show one property in each of these categories. And if there's a more popular um, property later on, it would show up here. This is based on views. If there is a more expensive property later on, it would show up here, et cetera, et cetera. And then we have a little box over here that shows the number of properties, the average price, um, the average price per square feet, the average acres, and the average square feet in Salt Lake City, which is the community that they created here. And this information is populated automatically. Then we have a map showing um, how the properties are distributed and their prices. And then this is the Yelp add-on that shows um, restaurants in this Salt Lake City community. After that, we have the results of the saved link. So these are the regular um, results that would be coming up when you create a saved link on IDX Broker. And these are all of the properties in the saved link. I'm going to be creating um, a similar community page using um, a client's saved link. I created this saved link in Binghampton in the state of New York. And the only criteria I added in were residential active properties in Binghampton between $200,000 and $1 million. Now let's preview this link. And this is how the link would look if you don't add any um, community page builder to it. So it shows the properties and it will use the template that you have activated. This is called Sunny Results. So now we go back to IDX add-ons to the Community Enhanced Builder app, which is where we will create this community page. And it's very, very easy to create. So basically you have four apps that you can use. And this is the Listing Stats add-on, Community Map, Community Information, and Yelp Business add-on. We have individual videos for all of these. And you can activate them through here and delete them. So by default, you have four of them. You have all of them, but you can delete blocks here. In this case, we're going to be creating the community page with these four sections. And all we have to do is select a saved link. So we will select Binghampton. If we had more saved links, they would all show up here. And you would just select um, the one you want to create. If you had more saved links, they would show up here. In this case, we only have one on this account and that's Binghamton. And then we have the two column section, which is these two apps, the community information add-on and the Google map add-on. For the first one, we just need to give it a name. We will just name this community Binghamton and this is what will show up instead of Salt Lake City. And um, the save link would be the same one. For the Google Map add-on, you can decide to add a specific zip code. You can add in coordinates or you can use saved link results. We're going to be using saved links results, but if you want um, more specific results, we recommend maybe using coordinates or zip codes just so that you can decide where exactly you want the map to start. Then we have the Yelp business add-on. And we can also show businesses by address if we have um, the specific one or by safe link result, which is what we'll choose. So now we just have to click on generate subheader and we copy this code and we go back to our safe links and we will edit this safe link here, edit preferences. 
go over here to subheader, turn WYSIWYG off so that we can add coding, paste this code. You don't need to move anything um, to the code and click on save changes. We now go back to the save links and we will preview this. So remember how it used to look before? We will now be refreshing this and it should have the new look. And there you go, you have your automatic Bin Hampton page. Remember that all of this is updated automatically. You don't need to change any of these. And when you click on a price, it will show you which property it's referring to. And you can click on it and it will open up um, the details page for that property. Here we have the restaurants and then um, the homes over here at the bottom. If we go back to the app, we can decide we want Yelp business add-on at the top, for example. We have to configure everything again, but it's very fast to do so. Looks like there's an extra P over here when we created the save link, but still it's gonna be showing the same results. Generate subheader again, copy code again, edit preferences, paste it again, save changes, and refresh this. Now we have um, the Yelp business add-on before the two columns, and then we have the results. So this is the Community Enhanced Builder. This is completely for free for all Realty County clients. If you want to become a Realty County client and you have an IDX broker account, just go to realtycounty.com slash free. We've made it easier for you to send an email to IDX broker. When you click on any of these, it already gives you a template for you to send out to developers at idxbroker.com and they'll make the change so that you become a Realty County client.